I'm Dan Schunk. I'm a professor at Arizona State University. I've been there since uh, 1984. Uh, came there as the uh, director of the SIM Systems Research Center. Uh, proudly won the uh, LEAD Award uh, during that 10-year time frame. Uh, ran the Tech MBA over in the business school, building bridges between our business school and engineering. Uh, spent a year in Ireland on a Fulbright. Uh, for the last 10-15 uh, years, I've had the honor to just be a baggy pants prof at uh, Arizona State. If you do Lean Sigma strategically, the gain has to be maintained because you're going to be measured against that gain on a regular basis. And unless I measure it, I have a hard time managing it and controlling it. So message number one is, is, is sustaining the gain. Message number two then, an extract of that says, I can't do this in an ad hoc fashion. I just can't go train 25 lean green belts and go say, do magic, magic stuff. Let's conduct 25 Kaizen events this year, go do magic stuff. It doesn't work. We're going to have to be strategic, and that means leadership's got to be involved. Now, I'm fortunate in that uh, all the folks that we're working with, and we're working with a lot of folks in the Phoenix area right now, not just manufacturing. All the folks that we're putzing with are really leadership driven and I'm going to walk through a case study of what we were able to accomplish at, at, at lunch today to talk about how we did that. The third one then says, okay, lean, if you're not careful, becomes a camp. Six Sigma, if you're not careful, becomes a camp. And if you're not really careful, they start to snipe at one another. The lean folks say, oh, you Six Sigma folks, all you do is putz around with, with statistics. The Six Sigma folks say, oh, you lean folks, you don't have a clue. You have no underlying theory by which you're developing these lean solutions. Probably right. <laughs> so, so what we're doing is, the, is using this common methodology, all right? And the common methodology says, I'm going to RD, strategically recognize and strategically define what the core process needs to be where we focus our attention. Then we're going to use define, measure, analyze, and prove control for lean. We're going to use define, measure, analyze, con, con, uh, define, measure, analyze, and prove control for Six Sigma. And we're going to develop this synergy between the two. Then once we come up with the solutions, then we're going to standardize it and integrate it across our enterprise. That's working. Now I can have a Lean Sigma group that learns a common methodology. They may use different tools. That's okay. We're not in, this is not a tools game. This is an operational excellence, flexibility, efficiency, effectiveness game. Tools are a means to an end. If we get hung up on tools, we're in trouble. Okay. So what we're finding is that if I have a sustain the gain game plan, with leadership support and a common methodology, we're hitting 40 50% delta T improvement. We're hitting 40% delta Q import, uh, improvement at the same time. And the cost reductions now, the byproduct, the dependent variable, is about 20%. Those are acceptable numbers today. That's the message I hope to get across. So, to me, we've come a long way. We used to have two camps. We used to have two camps. We used to have a lean camp that says, don't allow, a, don't do a process that doesn't add value. That's, that's a no-brainer, right? Do we? Yeah, we still do. The Six Sigma camp says, once we can identify the value added processes, let's minimize then the variability. Okay? There are lots of definitions. We were debating definitions in, in one of the workshops this morning. Okay? Shunk's definition, I'm a Hoosier, I'm a farmer. You drive the John Deere tractor up the furrow, you turn the sucker around and you bring it back. Life is very simple in Indiana, okay? <laughs> Lean's about recognition and earning the right to eliminate waste, in Shunk's humble opinion. Six Sigma is about the recognition and earning the right to reduce the variability. And there were some key words in that definition. Earning the right to do that. Okay? So, you're smart, folks. I got a value stream map here. It's a Boeing visual value stream map. Where's my... Right? Boeing visual value stream map. Whatever that is. I got a value-added activity 
activity, non-value add activity, value add, non-value add, value add. What are you going to do? That's a dumb question, Dan. I got a group of gurus in here, right? We're going to attack that thing. We're going to earn the right to eliminate those non-value added activities, aren't we? We're going to do that, and we know how to do that, employing the appropriate tool when appropriate. Now I'm down to value add. Okay? Now I got these six sigma bumps, and they're going to look at the variability of that value add activity and shrink the time it takes to perform that activity. Make sense? It's not always been that obvious. We began with two camps, didn't we? We had a lean camp over here, focusing on waste. We had a Six Sigma camp, focusing on variability. The Six Sigma camp starts sniping at the lean camp, saying, you turkeys have no probability. You got no mathematical foundation upon which you're building your program. The lean folks look at the Six Sigma folks and say, you putz around with drawing lines and curves, but you never give us any value contribution. And they start sniping at one another. Ever happen? Too bad. Dr. Doug Montgomery, who some of you know, or at least have heard of, and I, teamed up about 10 years ago when we sensed that that was happening. You can't afford internal victory on the proper approach to attack a problem. I want debate, but not bickering, okay? I hope you got the nuance. 